Hi. Hello, Prasidi. Today we have come to Kutub Minar. No, 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 no Taj Mahal is here. This all are the part of Kutub Minar only. No, beta. All these are part of Kutub Minar complex. These are different monuments inside this complex. This is the map of Kutub Minar complex. Prasiddhi has got a project in her school for show and tell competition for any Indian monument. So we thought it would be good that uh, if we could show her in live uh, Kutub Minar, she will be having some knowledge about it and uh, it will be a fun for us also. Here we have first look of the Kutub Minar. Prasiddhi is going with the father. Now we have entered the complex. Oh my god, so huge it is. She is quite excited after seeing the Minar. Yeah, no, no, no. Going inside it, it uh, it's not allowed. The gate is closed for when it comes so nearby. Earlier I thought that it would not be allowed to come so close to the Minar. Prasiddhi could not see the whole Minar. So she said I want to go a little farther so I could see the whole Minar. So can you see it now? Oh yeah. Quetul Islam Mosque. Just nearby Qutub Minar. It is attached to Qutub Minar. And uh, it said that uh, it was built by demolishing 27 Hindu temples. And after uh, demolishing those temples, the uh, which material they got, they built this mosque. And this was the first mosque in India. And this. Uh, uh, this minaret is about 800 years old. It was built in 1193 by Abba. After defeating India's first, Delhi's last Hindu ruler. Yeah. This is the entrance of the mosque, Kuwaitul Islam Mosque. The mosque is in itself so large. There are inscriptions on the Minar. The complex of the Qutub Minar is very large, so big. There are gardens, trees and uh, so many old buildings related to this. Uh, this door of the mosque is called Alai Darwaza. Let's see what's that. Seems to be a sundial. Okay. Okay, you saw parrot in the complex. Oh yeah, I can also see that. Oh yeah, it is five story minaret. It is also UNESCO World Heritage Site, do you know? Yes. And you know, Qutub, uh, Qutubuddin Abak built it after de defeating. Yeah, after defeating. Delhi's last Hindu kingdom. And oh, this is a big aeroplane. Yeah, there is an uh, airport nearby, so you can uh, see aeroplanes uh, flying throughout the day and night. This is a very big aeroplane. Yeah. Buddhi Nabak was not able to complete it uh, in his lifespan. 
he was able to build only the base tower the first uh, first story and ab above it uh, three stories were built by Eltamosh successor and its uh, last uh, story was built by Firoz Shah Tughlaq and it was finally completed in 1368 very good very nice See the complex in itself is very beautiful. They are ruins of history. Now we are going towards an iron pillar. It is also very old. Uh, the iron pillar has not got rust up to now, and it is standing still. Prasuddhi is being a bit curious about the place. She wants to go inside. She wants to feel it. She is going with her father. Come. We will show you the iron pillar. It's up there. Go up the stairs. Earlier it was allowed to go nearby. It. And it was said that if one could encircle the pillar with the hands, their first wish would get fulfilled. We'll have a look of Kutum Minar from here. The place uh, is a must visit if someone is interested in history and architecture there are so many monuments attached these are the ruins of the gates darwaza prasiddhi is having full fun come This room is of a lime minar. It seems to be bigger and heavier than Kutum Minar. Its construction was stopped in between as the ruler Sultan Alauddin Khalji, who was building it, died in between. There is a well on the upside. Prasiddhi got tired, so she is having some rest in the lawns of Kutub Minar. 